This video attempts to explain principal and general solutions of trigonometric equations which are a part of grade 11 mathematics. What do you mean by a principal solution? The solutions lying between 0 and 2 pi for the trigonometric equations are called principal solutions. For example, find the principal solution of sin x equal to root 3 by 2. We know that sin 60, that is sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. So pi by 3 is one principal solution. Now coming to the four quadrants, this is 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi. So we go in the anti-clockwise direction when we measure. In the first quadrant, sin, cos, tan are positive, so we write A. Second quadrant, only sin is positive, so I write S. Third quadrant, only tan is positive, so I write T. And fourth quadrant, only C is positive, that is cos. Now sin is positive in the second quadrant. So sin pi minus pi by 3 is again sin pi by 3, which is sin 60, which is root 3 by 2. So pi minus pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3, is another principal solution. So the principal solutions here are pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3. Coming to the next problem, find the principal solution of cosec x equal to minus 1. Cosec x equal to minus 1 implies sin x equal to minus 1. And sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So this is the only value in the closed interval 0 to 2 pi for which sin x is minus 1. So the principal solution is 3 pi by 2. Coming to general solutions, by general solution, we mean solutions which can be generalized. So general solution of sin x equal to 0 is x equal to n pi. This is because on the horizontal axis sin 0 is 0, sin pi is 0, sin 2 pi is 0, sin 3 pi is 0. So the general solution of sin x equal to 0 is x equal to n pi. Similarly, general solution of tan x equal to 0 is x equal to n pi because on the horizontal axis that is 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, tan is 0. General solution of cos x equal to 0 will be x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n belongs to the set of integers. Cos pi by 2 is 0, cos 3 pi by 2 is 0, again cos 5 pi by 2 is 0, cos 7 pi by 2 is 0. So in general odd multiples of pi by 2 are 0. And we call them general solutions because they can be applied for any value of n. Find the general solution of cos x plus pi by 4 equal to 0. Now general solution of cos x equal to 0 is x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. So here general solution of cos x plus pi by 4 equal to 0 would be x plus pi by 4 equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer. That is x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 minus pi by 4. Opening the bracket you get 2n pi by 2 plus pi by 2 minus pi by 4. So simplifying you get the x as n pi plus pi by 4 where n is an integer. So this is a general solution of cos x plus pi by 4 equal to 0. Find the general solution of sin x plus pi by 12 equal to 0. General solution of sin x equal to 0 is x equal to n pi. So general solution of sin x plus pi by 12 equal to 0 would be x plus pi by 12 is n pi, where n is an integer. So x would be n pi minus pi by 12, where n is an integer. So this is the general solution of sin x plus pi by 12 equal to 0. General solution of sin x equal to sin alpha is x equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n into alpha. Here this is obtained by taking sin x minus sin alpha equal to 0 and applying the expansion of sin a minus sin b. Similarly, general solution of cos x equal to cos alpha, taking cos alpha to the left and applying the formula for cos a minus cos b and simplifying the general solution of cos x equal to cos alpha is x equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha, where n is an integer. General solution of tan x equal to tan alpha would be x equal to n pi plus alpha, where n is an integer. Coming to a problem based on this, find the general solution of sin 2x equal to half. Now sin 30, that is sin pi by 6 equal to half. 
So I have sin 2x equal to sin 5 by 6. Now general solution of sin x equal to sin alpha is x equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n into alpha. So general solution of sin 2x equal to sin pi by 6 would be 2x equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n into pi by 6. So simplifying you get x equal to n pi by 2 plus minus 1 raised to n into pi by 12 where n is an integer. Coming to the next question, find the general solution of sin 9x equal to sin x. This is of the form sin a minus sin b equal to 0 taking sin x to the left. Sin x minus sin y is 2 cos x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2. So applying the formula this would become 2 cos 9x plus x 10x by 2 that is 5x and 9x minus x 8x by 2 which is 4x. So I get 2 cos 5x into sin 4x equal to 0 applying this formula. So either cos 5x equal to 0 or sin 4x equal to 0. Cos 5x equal to 0, we apply the general solution of cos x equal to 0. That is x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. So in this case, we get 5x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 or x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 10. Coming to sin 4x equal to 0, this would be the general solution of sin x equal to 0, which is x equal to n pi. So general solution of sin 4x equal to 0 would be 4x equal to n pi. That is x equal to n pi by 4. So in this case we have two solutions either x is 2n plus 1 into pi by 10 or x is n pi by 4 where n is an integer.